हेलो एवरीवन सो द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज अबाउट द टॉक्सिसिटी ऑफ माइक्रोन्यूट्रिएंट्स दैन माइक्रोन्यूट्रिएंट्स दे आर प्रेजेंट इन वेरी स्मॉल क्वांटिटी इन केस ऑफ द प्लांट्स सो हेयर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग दैट हाउ दिस टॉक्सिसिटी और दिस एक्सेसिव माइक्रोन्यूट्रिएंट्स कैन लीड टू द प्लांट डेथ और सम डिस्टॉर्टेशन ऑफ द फंक्शंस इन केस ऑफ द प्लांट्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट स्लाइड ऑफ प्लांट न्यूट्रिएंट्स so there are 16 chemical elements that that are known to be very important to a plant growth and survival so these elements are divided into two main groups that is non mineral elements and the mineral elements so these are the two main groups in which the elements are been divided first we will talk about the non mineral elements and then we will talk about the mineral elements so the non mineral elements are the carbon hydrogen and oxygen and these are found in air and water so these are found in the air and the water and if we talk about the mineral nutrients then there are about 13 mineral nutrients and these nutrients are divided into two groups that is micronutrients and the macronutrients next comes the toxicity of these nutrients so first we will discuss some of the a major uh, macronutrients then we will come to the micronutrients so if there is a toxicity of nitrogen then the dark leaves uh, there will be dark green leaves and foliage there are leaf tips which may turn down then there are yellowing on the affected leaves there is a claw leaves which even actually start turning yellow and they getting the spots in the dye next is the toxicity of phosphorus this toxicity is very rare and there are some ph limitations there are there, when there is an excess of phosphorus it can interfere with the availability of the copper and the zinc toxicity of potassium leads to the leaf, leaf tip and marginal necrosis so it will lead to the necrosis in case of the plants there will be a, some kind of black portions on the leaves so that will lead to the necrosis then toxicity of calcium the calcium toxicity rarely occurs and there is a high level of calcium that can compete with the magnesium and potassium and they uptake causing deficiencies so they will uptake uh, causing the deficiencies in the case of the plants then if we talk about the toxicity of magnesium it is very rare it is no, and it is not even exhibited visibly so this is the toxicity case of the plants of magnesium if we talk about sulfur the the size of the leaf will reduce here and the overall growth will will be stunted so there will be a like the plant will be short heighted and the leaves will not be as of normal size as that in case of a normal plant so in this uh, there will be tox the sulfur toxicity and the leaves yellowing or uh, scratched at edges there will be a rolled edges or scratched edges uh, in the case of the plant so this is this happens when there is a toxicity of sulfur toxicity of boron when there is a chlorolytic leaf tips there is a leaf necrosis there is a leaf falling and that will lead to the plant death toxicity of chlorine in the chloride toxicity it starts as a premature yellow in of the leaves and then in marginal or tip necrosis of the older leaves so that is what happens in case of the toxicity of chlorine toxicity of copper when there is an excess of copper it will restrict the root growth by burning the root tip so it can compete with the plant uptake of the iron and sometimes to zinc and molybdenum so there will be reduced branching and even actually the plant will die so when there is a toxicity of copper the branching will get reduced and the plant will even actually die Ta toxicity of iron it occurs into the low growing medium ph or from the excess application of iron so this is what happens in the toxicity of iron toxicity of manganese manganese toxicity it can occur if the fertilizer application rate is excessive so when the farmer is applying fertilizers uh, to the to the field of the plant and there is an excess rate of application in uh, on the plants then it, the toxicity of manganese occurs and it, it occurs when the ph is 5 or below 5 
so it occurs when the ph is below 5 and there is a forming patch on the older leaf so there will be a patch on the older leaves toxicity of zinc occurs at low ph and there is a growth reduction and there is a leaf chlorosis which occurs so this was all about the toxicity of the micronutrients and uh, these are some of the